Hello everyone, Daisy here with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps and this is also for the series that I do with Sarah Scraps and Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life, um, our Quilters Vibe series. So you would have seen the inspiration quilt um, at the beginning of the video and that is the one that I chose. Um, and so I started out by creating this stencil. This is made from the, I think it's called, um, mini hearts cut file in the um, Spiegel Mom Scrap shop and I just cut it out of some clear plastic poster board and it works perfectly and then I just used some modeling paste and smushed it through um, and then I'm going to set this off to the side and let it dry. Um, and I don't know what I'm doing here. I must be cleaning my stencil, I bet. So uh, I'm sorry that I did not cut this part out. But while this is going on, I can tell you, if you haven't already, head on over. Um, Sarah already has her video up and ready to go for the Quilters Vibe um, series. And then Christie's is going to be a little bit late because unfortunately they had some um, illness hit their their family. And so she's recovering from that so hers might be up um, a, a few days late but that's totally okay um, I will have links down below to both their channels so you just saw me sprinkle some dilutions white mist there around the background it's really I'm just building up my white on white on white on white um, layers here so you saw that cup file that I had that is from Confessions of a Paper Addict or Virginia who's another sparkler on the design team. Um, she has her own uh, cup file shop and I was thinking about putting some thread underneath it but it just looked too messy and you kind of lost the wave so I'm going to instead put it underneath my photo and this photo is an underwater photo of my oldest daughter and I just love the bubbles and everything and I love the color of the photo itself so I thought it'd be great as the like only source of color on this layout. Now I am using sequins out of the Oh Christmas Tree sequin mix as well as um winter's mist sequin mix and I'm pulling out the white ones or the clear ones and I think I also use yep you can see them there the silver kind of pinwheel discs as well and I'm trying to make it look like the bubbles um, coming out of her, her mouth are kind of extending onto the page and so that's why I have them kind of cascading up from the top of the photo and then I did add them kind of sprinkled in that wave cut file all over the place here and I felt like I needed um, some these big sequins for more bubble kind of sizes and variation and so those that's when I pulled in the winter's mist one I was considering using, there's some little white snowflakes in there, but um, I don't end up doing that. They stood out a little too much, so um, you could really tell it was a snowflake, so I decided not to do that. Um, and then I was trying to figure out what my title was, so I'm off looking for some white thickers or thicker words or phrases or whatever, and I could not find the one I was looking for. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in um, the patio party wood grain words and I'm going to pull the word magical in and I'm going to actually use some white gesso and paint over the wood grain. It's not 100% perfect but it does a good enough job that I'm happy with it in the end. I do end up putting... I don't know, like three or four different coats of the gesso on there um, just to make sure that it's not see-through. Now, if you don't already belong to the Spread the Sparkle Facebook group, you should head on over and join. That's where you find out about all of the sales, when the pre-orders go up, um, if there's anything going on that might delay shipping, or if there's any special giveaways, um, and also... We do do challenges and there is a bi-weekly scrap lift challenge that you can submit your layouts to um, and be entered to win 
for a chance to win um, a gift certificate to the shop. So you definitely want to join the Facebook group and not miss out on any of that, as well as just the inspiration um, from the sparklers and everybody else who posts there. We don't always get to comment on everybody's, but we do look at it and we appreciate all the inspiration that you guys um, get from us and give to us as well because we really um, enjoy seeing what you create with the sequins. So my video is going to cut off here, but I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to Christy and Sarah's channels and head on over to Facebook and join the Spread Your Sparkle uh, Facebook group. And don't forget to use my code DAISY15 for 15% off your next purchase in the shop. Thanks for watching. Bye.